Why is it so dark in here? I'm trying to be ominous and really, like, you know, mysterious, I guess, in some ways. But anyway, welcome. Welcome to the Harpcast. This is, uh... See, nothing's actually been planned. I haven't actually set anything up. This is more of a meet and greet. Oh, how are you going? Yeah, some of you know me. I don't know you. Let's keep it that way. Uh, the reality is, is that uh, I've been thinking of doing something like this for a while now. Um, and it's usually as a result of uh, being surrounded, I guess, by the right type of people. Um, having an idea of you know, having a better understanding of yourself in some ways to um, feel like you might be able to give to the world the way the world is given to you, I don't know, in some silly way, shape or form. Uh, so yeah, here I am. So I've done a little bit of preparation. It's all a work in progress. There's nothing to uh, really say that, um, you know, I might you know, embarrassed by it all and people call me a dickhead because as much as I am anyway and just I'll just say fuck it fuck is you won't give fuck stop teasing me I'm 46 but yeah a little sensitive in some way still but that's all right so yeah what's the harp cast well good question there's a couple of areas that I would like to focus on um throughout any given week or month and when I talk about being the half cast, being the friend cast, it's about, uh, for me personally, I'd like to actually get friends, if I have any, <laughs> so put your hand up. Yeah, friends that I've, or well, people that I've met in the past, that I guess are still floating around on social media, that would choose to live vicariously through all my silly posts, and basically come together again and talk about who you are and what shapes you and then essentially when work out or talk about when our paths crossed in this uh in this world and um you know it's not going to be a groundbreaking experience in some ways but at the same time i think a lot of the time a lot of the experiences that i've had with people that i've met over my life it's always been quite a positive one maybe even so brief to the point that, you know, in passing it may be the most insignificant uh, interaction you've had in your life. <laughs> and if that's the case, then it's going to be a pretty short podcast every week or every every month. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's important to try and, uh, how do you say, just get, get as, you know, we, 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 you really want to get as much as you can out of the, the people that you interact with in your life. Otherwise, you're just going to be floating through the cosmos and not evolving the way that you have the right to. So, and I think that's a really important thing ever, ever so now more than, than ever, uh, with the way we're just connected in general. So I feel like it's, I, I think it's important in a way because there's always a little part of us that always wants what once was with regards to, you know, you know, we're always, we're seeing a resurgence of the 80s in certain, some pop cultures overall that, and some of my age and, you know, a lot of my peers around my age as well, that you think the same thing, like there's a, whilst, you know, the world had their own problems back in the 80s, at the same time, we just knew that it was a pure time for us during our adolescence growing up. And, you know, we can, you know, there's still a lot of us that, think that that was a great time and at the same time as well there's you know I guess the the podcast will really try and delve into what your moral compass is with regards to how we've met and the type of things we have in common and if anything what the future holds for you um, and how you can have an impact on others lives by sharing your story somewhat so that's the key, personally. It's, I think it's important to really just, especially for this generation, because <laughs> um, everyone has an opinion about what's you know, what generation's best. Um, 
but it's important to to acknowledge that there is a you know every one of us can you know make the world a better place in some ways so if every small thing that we can do for one another you know whether it be some small piece of advice that was carried on from your parents or uh, as some traumatic event that made you reevaluate the way you choose to live your life or uh, a simple you know motivational speech or movie or tv show or a small interaction you had with someone on the street that's kind of cultivated the way that you choose to live your life then share it so that's the whole idea that's where we want to get out of all of this so really hope you can join me on the journey because um if anything it's not going to exist without you so put your hand up or let me know if you're interested <laughs> and we'll uh catch up oh, so that should be cool if anything another thing as well uh you know there's there's the friend cast and there's a couple of other areas i'd like to also share on as well and that's a uh, you know, I guess you could say gym, the gym and fitness side of things in terms of my life experience and with training in the gym and yeah, getting rid of this chin, this ridiculous chin in, in the process. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you knew me, you line of bullshit. But, um, yeah, yeah, little tidbits down the track and probably pick it on some of the fitness influencers uh, like everybody else is on YouTube, but that's okay. But I think it's obviously keep it in a positive light because there is a lot of good good information out there and there is a lot of misinformation as well, which is, seems to be the staple of the industry overall. So, um, excuse me. Another thing as well, um, support work experience. So if you're not aware, I've been working as a, a community support worker, working with people with a lot of mental health issues and comorbidities. Um, clearly there's going to be a confidentiality element where I can't disclose specific information, but at the same time, it's made me really re-evaluate a lot of things over the past 12 months doing the job. But also as well, a lot of the misconceptions associated with mental health issues as well that I think is important. Um, clearly I'm not a clinician of any sort, and this is more of my day-to-day -day experience and uh, working with specific individuals and specific mental health issues that are quite severe. Um, give you a rundown. I've worked with people that uh, suffer from PTSD, um, schizophrenia, uh, bipolar, depression, high anxiety, uh, autistic on various spectrums. Uh, people with schizoaffective disorder as well um, and that's just in one week <laughs> so yeah a couple of scenarios I'll explain but at the same time you know just just the experience overall has been extremely eye-opening and humbling and distressing sad overwhelming very funny uh, but yeah, I'll fill you in as time goes on. So yeah, tune in, like and subscribe, go to my YouTube page, and we'll see where the journey takes us. So thanks again. You can pick on me. You can pick on me with a ridiculous post in three, two, one. But get fucked.